Well, meet. Here we are at Railroad HQ. I kind of regret having slept here. I feel like my nostrils are clogged with the dust of human remains. Gross. Anywho, this robot wants us to set up a new safe house and distribution center for synth refugees, so we're going to go do that. Also, that asshat Carrington wants us to check in on one of the safe houses that's gone dark since the Institute attack. That they've waited this long to check up on it seems nuts, but hey, I'm used to pulling incompetence up by their bootstraps. So, let's get out there, meet. The things I do to fight slavery. <sighs> well, who knows. Maybe I can figure a way to turn my freedom fighting to my personal advantage. Well, gang's all here. Meet Heather, Deacon. Analyzing. Shut up, Pam. I guess we can just get right out there. You don't say. Alright, we'll start by heading to the dead drop. Alright, let's see here. Uh, this way. What was that noise? I don't know. But, in any case, like I said, let's go this way. Light who up? Aw, we were having such a good firefight. Hi there. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, why can't I move? It's got to stay. Got here. Hey, fuck you. Ouch. This is only gonna end one way. Oh. Alright. I deal with you idiots. Hey there. Blast you. Hey, you're damn right you're getting wasted. Maybe you shouldn't have attacked me, you jackasses. You need death is what you need. Fuck you, Deacon. How's that? Alright, I'm not gonna try to find all of their corpses in the brush, but whatever. Good a start as any, I suppose. Ooh, lots of cigarettes. I also hear a creepy bug. Where is it, though? Did you literally just change clothes, Deacon? You were not wearing those clothes two seconds ago. I gave Deacon the Deliverer. I thought uh, it might suit him. Alright, um, let's level up. Now we can max out our ballistic weapons. 
I think most of them are already pretty maxed out, but might be a few more silencers we can put on different things now. Which is always good. Ooh, power armor. Hmm. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why is this neighborhood so dangerous? Get on in there, Heather. On it. I'll stay right here. Fan fucking tastic. Yeah. Better you than me. Alright, now. Where's this goddamn dead drop? Mutants. Now that's just annoying. Don't want no jailhouse fish. Oh dear. This asshole's got a rocket launcher. <clears throat> Let's take care of him, shall we? Thank you. Oh dear. Must have been a suicider or something over there. Good thing we weren't standing there. See? Well, that's what the kneecapper's for. Where the hell is the guy? Oh, wait. Wrong section. There we go. Hey, buddy! Damn, I missed both shots. Fuck you. Thank you. Blast you. Before I met you, I I heard something. Just shot me. Want you idiots shoot me? Live to fight another day and night and yeah. day, etc. We're alive. Good job, us. Oh, hey, where'd you come from? Bye, bye now. All right, we're getting close. Hmm. What's going on up over here? Insert something. Raiders, eh? Mm. Ooh, yeah. This is a good, good time for this. Why can't I hit him? Kids. <laughs> Ouch! Uh, did it hit an artery? Fucking kids and fucking rocket launchers. We could always use some more ammo. You know, I do like long, lazy, dull days, right? Where's this asshole? <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. God damn it, he's still alive. I sure do a lot of that. Winning, that is. Seems we have a tail. Well, howdy there. Hi! Damn. This guy can take a lot of damage. New business model. We team up with a mortuary. Um, you see where I'm going with this, right? That doesn't look like a captive child, it looks like a cat. Now, folks. I'm sure you've all but, seen you know, whatever. About the latest issue of all right. Um, some bold claims by our intrepid reporter. Let's eat some food. Possibly living among us? Undetected? Very serious implications. Wouldn't you agree? 
The mayor's office has, of course, issued a statement uh, denying the validity yes. of the article, saying Bye -bye, kitty. all is well in Diamond City. The mayor himself insists that the mayor's calibrated Kalosh. Unfound. Well, that's fun. Good to know, I guess. But between you and me, listeners, I'm gonna keep my eyes open. Just to be right, here's the asshole side. that was launching missiles at me. Well, never a dull moment here at Nothing Dive good on him, though. Ladies, I bet every one of you out there knows a man like the one Betty Hutton sings about. Here's a, he's a demon, he's a devil. Thanks he's for the stim pack. I could use them. I've already used several today. Oh, power armor. Though it appears to be used into the wall or something and inaccessible. Well, that's cool. Alright, well. Hello. Nice. Damn right it's nice. Did I search this place thoroughly? It's always hard to tell. A fancy blowtorch of some kind, apparently. That's not even worth picking up, boss. Hey, shut your goddamn mouth, Deacon. Did I ask you? No. No, I did not. Bitch. I suppose I didn't really check the other direction on the roof. Anything over here? Nope. There is a swimming pool, though. With a dead guy in it. Oh, that's cool. Also, uh, a trap. Hmm. Trixie. All right, now, back to that fucking dead drop. Appears to be right over here. Augusta report. One hour photo. Medic Banks. Picturesque. All right, well, let's uh, check out the Augusta report, shall we? Augusta is still dark. Location enclosed. Exercise extreme caution. Allowed. Oh. Nuclear protection. Fantastic. All right, so where is it? Over in Cambridge. Okay. Uh, but let's, yeah, let's go check out this safe house first. I guess Arcjet's gonna be about the closest place I get. So let's go there. Bye. You guys throwing Molotovs at me? Fucking punk bitches. Traveling with you ain't dull. I'll say that. Yeah, I'm pretty exciting. Whenever you're done corpse swatting, I'm good to go. There's never enough corpse swatting, Deacon. Alright. Now, apparently we're gonna go this way. Seems like everybody just wants to pick a fight with me today. Eat some more food. What do we got? What do we got here? Crispy squirrel bits. Yeah, there we go. Looks like I need one more of them. There we 
There you go. Clear out that inventory. We're sucking up rats here. Mm, yes, we are. What is this shack in the middle of a radioactive pond? I, mean, I guess I have to check it out. Alright, I guess we also need some rat X, because it's pretty heavy on the rads up in here. There appears to be a ghoul sleeping here. You might want to focus on the valuable salvage. You'll break your back carrying worthless scrap. I love old world widgets. Worth a fair amount, too. Damn. Damn, lady, this is a, a seriously radioactive place you've set up in. I'm not even going to bother talking to you because it's way too radioactive for me. Yeah, damn, that hurt. I need to eat more food now. Like... Uh, noodle cups. America's most popular cigarettes. And, uh, no other cigarette mug chops. Rich, full flavor. Still not full. No other cigarette offers this there we go. <clears throat> All right. Now we're ready for anything. Oh, hi. We got... Hey, puppies. <laughs> Ragdoll all over the place. Again. What cigarette? Yeah, we're pretty great. Doctor, that question was asked a few years ago. That dog was carrying duct tape. Good for him. The brand name most was Camel. Recently that question was again asked of tens of thousands of doctors across the country. Doctors in all branches of medicine. And again, the brand name most was Camel. Yes, according to these nationwide surveys, more doctors smoke camels. Than any other cigarette. you. How flavorful. It's like another gunner outpost on an overpass, eh? Well, we certainly don't want them uh, set up near uh, near our new safe house, do we? So let's get on up there. Hey, buddies! Don't mind me. Still one more, huh? Oh, hi. Broke the fence. Lucky Chiapa triple threat. Um, okay. Critical shots do double damage. Okay, well, nothing. Nothing too fancy. Looks like one of them was a neckbeard. Here's Dick Powell with a special message. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the makers of camels have sent more than 198 million gift camels to our armed forces. Not much to this outpost, was there? Gift camels go to hospitalized servicemen and veterans at Veterans Hospitals, Framingham, Massachusetts, and Durban, Michigan. Headshots. Naval Hospital, San Diego, California. Four. And to all hospitals operated Served. By Air Four, eight. Oh, wait, no. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-three. I always do. All right. Well, I guess that's a good use for the Middlesex Expressway. Um, all right. I guess that's about all there is up here. Let's head back down. Now here's the latest. Suggest a chem deal gone bad outside Diamond City. The tales are scarce, but it sounds like whatever happened, it was pretty violent. Just the way no I like it. Official connection. It has been noted that Diamond City resident Henry Cook. Oh, so is this the place? Approximately the same time. This must be the place. To verify any further details of this story. Right. We'll pass them on well. to listeners. Hmm. <laughs> This is interesting. Just another day in the Commonwealth, huh, folks? Let's face it, gentlemen. If you were this guy, 
It's like a little farm of some kind. Here's 60 minute man. Ah, the time-honored tradition of looting. Well, let's clear out the wildlife, eh? I wonder what it would be like to be a ghoul. You know, live forever. There seems to be some weird I robot think over here. Is worth the smell. What's up, robot? <laughs> Professor Goodfeels. It is pretty groovy. But, uh, yeah, I can actually see a lot of, um, potential in this place as a, uh, synth refuge. Um... You know, basically... You know, we're gonna need all sorts of, uh, settlements in the new commonwealth. We're gonna need, you know, residential, highly residential areas. We're gonna need, um... Industrial areas like Mechanist Slayer. We're gonna need commercial centers. Uh, you know, it's always gonna be important to have a big agricultural center, and this place looks like it was a big farm at one point. So, if uh, you know these freed ghoul or freed synths rather are, you know, needing a new place to live, and they also need gainful employment. Oh, hello. Well, working on a farm shouldn't be too hard for them. Your friends, you dead bastard. And of course, you know, they'll be paid. It's not like they're going to be slaves again. And uh, they'll be contributing to the new commonwealth. And, uh, you know, everybody wins. This place is going to need a little work, of course. But, um, you know, I'm sure uh, these synths are no stranger to work. Deacon, how's that? Oh, I suppose you wanted to talk to me, didn't you? Hey, let's get that out of the way. way. Deacon, I'd still like to talk, if you're interested. All right, Deacon, what the fuck do you want? What do you want to talk about? I'm used to flying solo, but I got to admit, working with you makes me think I've been missing out. Having someone watching your back is refreshing. Especially since you never know when the Institute is watching. Look, buddy, if you're angling for a hug, it ain't happening. Don't get all mushy on me. Oh, I was just about to open up about my first pet mole rat, Bessie, and the time we had to put her down. Some people at HQ were jealous. You took the big nap and everyone you knew is long gone. Now, hear me out on the silver lining. If a human in the railroad slips up, then they expose friends and loved ones to danger. You're safe from that. Um, I'm a pretty popular guy, Deacon. I don't know if you've noticed. I have lots of friends and loved ones. Especially lovers. Why would the people they care about be in danger? When the coursers start kicking down doors, they don't just hit railroad safe houses. Some friends and family have been known to get axed. Whether the Institute's motivated by vengeance or faulty intel, it doesn't matter to the people left behind. It doesn't matter much to me. I'm a simp. At least that's what they tell me. So, I really don't have anything to lose. For Glory and me and the others, it's easier to dedicate ourselves to the cause. Cut the bullshit, Deacon. You expect me to believe that? Why not? I, mean, I was one of the first to get the good old Cranium reboot, and it was a learning experience for everyone. Makes me quirky and fun that way. Since we're traveling together, I want you to take this. It's my recall code. If you ever need to know something about the Institute, read it to me. Yeah, I think you're lying. You wanna... you wanna test it out? If you expect me to believe you, I want proof. Alright, you got me. No fooling you, huh? Don't take it personally. I lie to everyone. Maybe I'm just another human that has people back home he wants to protect. Then again... Maybe not. <laughs> Do you just lie all the time for practice? Not that I'm judging. I lie a lot. 
Is that really why you lied to me? I'm supposed to be showing you the ropes in the railroad, so let's just say this is lesson, well, whatever number we're at. That code I gave you is a hard truth. You can't trust everyone. Even if someone sounds sincere, they could be a synth replacement working for the Institute. The bitch of the problem is recognizing the 90% of the time someone's on the up and up and the 10% of the time you're being played. Yeah, look, Deacon, this ain't my first rodeo. I'm, uh, I'm a lot older than I look. <clears throat> All right, well, back to clearing this place up. I hope not. And if they could, would it be a cool baby? Or just a regular human baby? Hope you enjoyed that one. Warren Smith with Uranium Rock. Let me in. Oh, hi. There are we made that look easy. We sure did. That is something of a pun. Self proclaimed legitimate businesswoman, Bobby No Nose, has something of a reputation. Oh, we get here. There we go. Ugh, the Wasteland Survival Guide. Fuck you, Moira. I'm a fan of Grognak myself. What will that wacky barbarian do next? Alright, so that's everything? Oh, I don't know if I've been in this house yet. Ooh, I can't go in this house. Except, at least not that way. Ah, I can get in this way. Oh, hello, gross school. She crossed the wrong people and won't be seen anywhere again. Ever. If you get my meaning. Here's a pick me up for you. Alright, I think I've been in this house. With uh, yeah. So that was the first one I was in. Okay, cool. So let's uh two centuries, Americans have enjoyed the let's access this giant. Now freedom needs each American to dedicate himself to its preservation. We must not allow our liberties to be endangered by neglect of our duties. Mm, I need to build defenses, do I? During this year of rededication, um, all right. we'll just build some super basic shit. Um, at some point later, we'll come back and really set the place up, but for now, let's put a couple of turrets. There's one. Produce as much as you can. And thus increase our military and economic Crap, I don't have enough circuitry for that. For better schools and a better community. Or that. Your American um, okay. Need you. What can I build? Let's see, anything I can scrap around here for circuitry? Uh, probably not. Well, I did see a computer in there. But it's not scrappable, of course. Not gonna be any circuitry in that. I didn't see any TVs or anything in here. This place seems pretty low tech. Huh. Alright, well, let's see. Might have to uh, leave and come back. Unless anybody else has some junk on them. Actually, let's see what Heather has for sale. Hi. I'm tired of being in this thing. I need a break. Hey, you want to bust me out of this and take me to bed? Not at the moment, but, you know, probably later. See what you have. I have the best inventory in the Commonwealth. You're good. I need junk. What you got for me, baby? Nothing. You don't have anything I need. God damn it. <sighs> Crap. Alright. We're gonna need to uh, leave and come back. Here, I'll just... I'll uh, do this, uh, you know, in my own time here, so... We'll be back in a moment. Alright, we're back. And uh, as you can see, I headed back to the Mechanist Slayer and uh, 
created a new robot to, to uh, you know, be a, um, you know, run a supply line here to uh, my new outpost, my new uh, safe house, or safe houses, I suppose you could say. Um, but so now I uh, have access to, uh, you know, all the supplies. Did you hear that? Shut up, Heather. Yes. Definitely. Shut up, Deacon. Uh, at all my other places, so, uh, you know, robots are good at equally distributing uh, stuff like that and anticipating the need. It's really a genius idea of mine to uh, have robots running uh, caravans for me. I should uh, probably consider marketing it, actually. Uh, I'm kind of surprised nobody's thought of it before. But um, that, uh, that caravan to the capital wasteland that... Uh, you know, Daisy is friends with that, uh, you know, we sent the shit back with McCready and uh, that we're using to distribute uh, the Wanderer's Guide to the Wasteland down there. We could, um, you know, if I talk to those guys about uh, using robots, might make a significant sum of money. Anyways, just musing. Let's finish setting up some defenses. Looks like we probably just need one more turret. Let's see. We'll put it over here. Come on. There we go. Boom. Port back to Pan. Deacon apparently likes building, um, building turrets. You're a weird dude, Deacon. Alright, now. Let's head over here to Cambridge, shall we? fighting. Seeing a laser blast. Yeah. Over here, apparently. Bull by now. Yeah. Fighting again. I'm good at killing things, generally speaking. Hundreds attacked. Peace. Really good at this. Too good. Thank you. Man, that's a damn shame. It's a nice looking lady. Too bad she was a raider. It's scavengers no day. Eh? Looks like all sorts of people were up in here fighting it out. Scavengers, raiders, rust devils, robots. Let's see what this scavenger's note is all about. One of the caravan guards said they passed by a Weston water treatment plant a while back. Thought it might have some good scrap left to salvage. Might be worth a look. Search for scrap. Cambridge Campus Diner. Alright. Close. No. Bugs and ghouls. Hey, boys. Oh, that's a lot of ghouls. Gadoosh. 
Oh boy. It's four less schools, anywho. I guess that's one way to look at it, Deacon. Mmm, blood bug meat. Alright, looks like this is the place. Kendall Hospital. Oh, okay. Well, that, uh... That does seem like a interesting place to set up your um, safe house. Uh, we have no idea what we're going to find in here, so let's take the silent approach. Though I'm guessing by the heads hanging on hooks outside, what we're going to find is raiders. We've been making the rounds, doing the job. It's time you learn the... Shut up, Deacon. This is not the time. Now's not the time, son. We've been making... Shut up, Deacon. Alright, not that. Not that. Um, could be. I'm through. Ah, what? terminals. It's like the old world flipping us off all over again. Uh, shut the fuck up, I think. I hear something. Nothing We've there been now. making the rounds, doing the job. It's time you learn the big secret. Everyone thinks that Desdemona... Deacon, shut up. Look, if you're going to be insistent about this, we're going to go back outside and talk about it. Because <clears throat> in here is not the fucking place. You dickweed. Alright, now. Do you want to talk, Deacon? Is that the fucking deal? We've been making the rounds, doing the job. It's time you learn the big secret. Everyone thinks that Desdemona is the big boss. She calls the ops, gives the rah-rah speeches. But it's just an act. She does what I tell her to because the railroad... It's my show. It's been that way since I founded it. You really like fucking with me, don't you? Do you really think I'm gonna fall for this? Fall for what? Haven't you noticed that when I say the word, Desdemona does a 180? Hey, there's an intruder! No, I vouch for him. Then welcome! Every time. It works best that way. It gives me room to maneuver. We've come a long way since the beginning. We've done a lot of good. Saved a lot of sins. But we're about more than that. We are the last and only line of defense between the Institute and the Commonwealth. Hell, maybe even the world. Look, Deacon, you're good. But I'm the most silver-tongued devil pirate in the wasteland. Ever heard the old saying, don't bullshit a bullshitter? You've lied to me at least once. This is just more of the same. Yeah, you got me. But you're going to hear the same sort of lies elsewhere. There's other organizations out there, and in time, I'm sure they're going to spoon-feed you their own patented form of bullshit. Ignore the verbiage, and look at what they're doing. What they're asking you to do. What sort of world they'd have you build. And how they're going to pay for it. Hmm. That's, um... That's surprisingly insightful, Deacon. So what do you think of the other groups out there? Love the job you're doing with the Minutemen. Historically, they've been little better than policemen, though. Policemen? The Fuck well, the police. I met them on an op in Capital Wasteland a few years back. But now with Elder Maxon, let's just say... Not a fan. And the Institute? Well, do I really need to answer that? But what I think doesn't matter. The real question is, what do you think? And... At the end of the day, you'll need to make a choice. Make it the right one. Look, the Minutemen aren't police, they're citizen soldiers. Big difference. If we end up with cops in the new Commonwealth, I'm gonna make them robots. 
But uh, you've been to the Capital Wastelands too, huh? Well, don't worry. I always make the right choices, Deacon. Well, maybe not always. There were those few instances of genocide, but let's not talk about that. Now then, back to what we were doing before you had to bother me. Jesus. Bye-bye now. Anybody else want to play? I wonder if I can shoot these barrels and make them blows up real good. Come on out. I'll make it nice and quick. You can trust me. Uh-huh. Oops. I was actually trying to shoot the barrel, but whatever. That works too, I guess. Scared, huh? You should be. Do I seem scared to you, boy? <laughs> You're just walking right into my bullets as I'm literally trying to shoot these barrels. Because I can't make them blow up. Who's shooting and at what? You can't see me. Don't even pretend like you can see me. Let's sneak out here. Show here your bit. face! Come on! I dare you! I see you, boy. Alright, there's somebody right over there on the other side of that pile of bodies. Disturbing as that is. What is that fucking noise? Let's open this door up, shall we? Gotcha. Yes. Hi. Do you mind me to show you a couple and places? bye. Somebody up here. Well, there was somebody up there. Oh. Gotcha. And now probably just the one jackass left over here. Only a fucking coward hides. Well, show yourself then. Turn up, you're dead. Okay. No sign of him now. Ah. Fuck. Come on, jackass. Could not even hide anymore. Just come out. Or I can fucking see you. Stop hiding. Oh, I know you're here. I'll find you. Yeah, I'm not even hiding. I'm right here in the open. Come get me. Thought you could hide? No. Come on, tough guy. Get up. <laughs> Bye. Fuck you. Oops, somebody on this level. Tail. Oops. person was. But okay. I guess they were sleeping in here, seemingly. Maybe they forgot to take their gun I that was hanging in the magazine widgets. rack. Worth a fair amount too. Well, you snooze, you lose. Oh, hello, Mr. Safe. 
Oops. Nice. Keep hearing weird noises in here. I don't know what they are. Hmm. That's a raider. Did we kill him? Who knows? Eh, there's probably no point in turning this protectron on. It seems like there's only one person maybe left alive up in here. They seem to be up on the upper level. It would take the <coughs> robot way too long to get to them. Here's the pile of corpses I made. Whenever you're done corpse squatting, shut up. Good to go. Neat. Come on. But here are a bunch of railroad agents whose corpses I did not make. That's unfortunate. Well. Here, give me your harness. Um, alright. Did I search everything down here? Let's see, I don't think I actually searched this room too carefully. No, okay, so that's where I just was. Good, good. Fine. Um, what else? Nothing over here. Smokes, cash registers, nothing in there, nothing in there, okay, oh yeah, you're the first person I killed, um, let's see, you're a woman, right, yeah, we'll leave you with your dignity. Alright, how do I actually get upstairs, that's the question. Alright, so more corpses over here in this giant pyre, including an orphan. That's fantastic. Raiders are just lovely people, aren't they? That's not even worth picking up, boss. Did I ask you? Give me your uh No no. Give me your damned long johns. Book return machine. That's a weird thing to have here. But okay. In a hospital? Mm, drugs. Alright, let's turn my light off now. That jazz. And another pile of corpses. Fantastic. Um, sure, take that. An elevator going up, eh? Let's keep looking around in here. Oh, that's the other guy I killed, I think. Good, good. I love old world widgets. Worth a fair amount, too. Yeah, whatever, Deacon. Mm. That lovely aroma of burning human flesh. Nothing quite like it. Hmm. Yeah, you're right about that, Heather. Dead synth in here, too, so apparently the Institute did attack this place. Probably raiders came in after the fact. Took over. Seems to make the most sense. Heather, you're, you're blocking. You're blocking the damn button. Oh, for fuck's sake, Heather! Get out of there. Going up. As you do. Sixth floor. Alright, now let's 
Let's be careful up in here. Oh, hi. <laughs> Guess I wasn't real careful, was I? Yeah, another dead kid. Well, what are you going to do? Shouldn't have gotten involved with the Raiders, kiddo. Another kid. How many of these kids did you fucking recruit, you bastards? You're starting to make me feel guilty for killing them all. But, not that guilty. They're still raiders. Make you jittery. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, who's there? Yeah. Who? Still oh, kicking? Yeah. Jesus! Now this, this is a workout. Hmm, looks like we need to go around the other way to get to them. Cover me. So let's do that. Oh, hi. I was hoping they'd all be dead by now. Oh, hey. I don't really like killing dogs any more than I like killing kids, but daddy's going to do what he's going to do. Anything useful for us. What do you think I'm doing, Deacon? Jesus. And another dead kid. I guess I shouldn't feel too bad about um, huh? killing these kids since uh, apparently they don't have any compul compunction against doing it. Yes, that is who I want to be targeting. Come on out. I'll make it nice and quick. You can trust me. Another fucking asshole with a rocket launcher. Where are you going, lady? Take her out. She's got the rocket launcher. She's the problem. The others, much less so. Do, 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 do. Hey there, friendships. Come out where I can shoot you. Ah! Blast! Blast and tarnation. Nothing like sniping children. Hey there. Tell your friends, you dead bastard. All right. We'll be here all week. Tell your friends, you dead bastards. Poor fucking poor bastards. Uh, was that person I just shot on this level? Or maybe they were down a level. I'm not even sure. Uh, looks 
like nothing over here. Heather. Move. Deacon, dog meat, all of you, get out of my way. Fuck. You might want to wipe the blood off anything you find there. The children's blood? Man. Yeah. Stop judging me, Deacon, alright? Want me to let the kids shoot me? Would that make you feel better? The wasteland's a rough world, alright? Oh, hey. Hi, Raider Scum. I don't even remember killing you. I don't think I did. I don't know who killed you. you guys infighting over here? I suppose it's possible Deacon or Heather uh, took care of you, but... I don't know when that would have been. Boom. I don't know if even a scaver would take that. Well, I am a scaver, and I just took it, so apparently they would. Christ, man. Okay, rapes. Uh, wait a minute. Where does... Can I get up here? Yoink. Yoink. Eh, I'm a badass. I love more money. Old world widgets. Worth a fair amount too. Mm, I didn't mean to take the tray, but whatever. Just trying to get my caps on. I already got one of them. Good. As well you should. Did I ever tell you, Deacon, that I used to run a guild of thieves? Sounds like somebody just fell. Well, I guess that's what we came for. soul came running out of. They didn't seem to see me or hear me, but uh, they just started running at me. Got it. Yoink. something um are you upset about me Let's shooting go! your fucking turret before i met you i'd go whole days without massacring a bunch of things hey honest you killed my turret ah, the time honored tradition of looting yeah <sighs> getting shook up over nothing i'm all shook up 
Huh? What was that noise? Oh, hey there, lady. Oops. All right, now back here. Loot. Uh, out of order elevators. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, the famous crate with TV dinner trays in it. Such a common thing. All right, turn the light off. We're being detected, but uh, not by raiders apparently, because they're not trying to attack us or getting you know pissed off or whatever. Oh yeah, bullets and caps. That's what life's all about, really. I love old world widgets. Worth You've uh, mentioned that a time or two. Hooey. All right, I guess we're going. Uh, oh wait, hold on. We got a couple options here. We got a door that goes into a shitty ass bathroom. With nothing in it. Okay. Out of the way, mate. And then over here. Psycho buff out. Daddy likes his chems. Cash monies. A toaster. How do I get down to the next level? Do I just jump? Yeah, it does kind of look like that, doesn't it? Alright. Blamp. 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 Oh, what was that noise? Oh, fuck. A oh, Deathclaw. Oh, dear. Did he just kill that kid? Yo, Deacon, you're in the fucking way, bro. Somehow that kid survived, seemingly. How the fuck did they get a death line here? That's a fair question. Meet. Come here. Hey, wait there. Come on. Hold position. All right, come here. No, definitely get rid of that shit. And all this shit. Thanks, buddy. Hey, moving out. Now, follow me. A derby winning toy car. I'm interested. Alright, well, another railroad agent who apparently tried to fight off a death claw with a machete. Bunch of uh, captive children. There's a reader kid. The blood off anything you find there. Don't know where he came from. Another couple railroad agents. Another captive child. All right. We'll free them in a minute. But first, you know, let's make sure that uh, everything's kosher down here. That's not even worth picking up, boss. It shows what you know, Deacon. Hey, give me that. Alright, how do we get out of here? Great. I didn't need to have more children. More? Alright, let's see here. Uh, Alright, follow the power cord. Blam. There we go.
Yo, meat. Come on. Taking up radiation here. I don't need you fucking blocking my way. Well, kids, I hope, uh... hope you don't mind a little radiation. Well, hello. Alright, let's put you in some raider clothes so they don't uh, suspect you or nothing. Uh, here, you take the harness. And, uh... I'm going to give you some... Do, do, do... Have a cigarette. And, uh... Have uh, some Radex, because you might need it. And have, uh... Oh, did I pick up any crappy-ass guns or whatever? By accident? Yeah, here, take a Molotov cocktail. There you go. Now get out of here, kid. Alright, you there. Well, hello. smoke. What did I say? Do we, do we decide if we had any crappy guns that I could give away? I don't think I do. Could have the other Molotov cocktail though. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here, kid. Smoke them if you got them. Hi there. And uh, I'll give you, um, I guess I'll give you that comic book. Oh, wait, no. This thing. Uh, yeah, we'll give him this. Bam. There you go, now you look cool or something. Or whatever. And, um... Sure, have a fragmentation mine. That's something useful for a kid, right? <clears throat> Get out of here, you punks. I mean, good luck to you out there, children. Whatever. All right. Oh, hey, kid. Get out before the radiation gets you. Well, come on, let me out. I don't need to be irradiated. Motherfuckers. Oh, hey. Hope you didn't kill the kids I just sent out here. Bam! 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 There you are. Lock and load. Bam! Bang! <gasps> Jesus Christ, how many of you are there? I sure do a lot of that. Winning, that is. For F's sake, man. <clears throat> Give me all your delicious bug meats, though. Yo, man, give me that delicious bug meat. Mmm, delicious. Looks like I got another friend up here somewhere. There he is, over yonder. Apparently I missed. We got tons. Damn it. You almost got away. We win again. Yep, I win again because I'm awesome, Deacon. Uh, yeah. Let's move away from that. And. 
Kablooey! Nice. Alright. Oh, let's see here. I guess we can go set up this dumb thing for fucking Tinker Tom. Because why not, I guess. Like I would fucking enter Railroad HQ through the church now. That I don't have to. Why am I gonna do that? Come on. Use your damn brain. Broken monorail. <laughs> oh, hi, friends. Action shot. Area secure. Don't talk about my area. Shut up. Fucking beat your head in. Alright, looks like I need to get up there. How do I get up there? And I, I can actually get up there on this um, on this thing. There's a disconnect here. I have to find a way up through the building. Let's see if there's a way in over here. No, oh, hay market. All right. It's a good place to get some fresh fish and produce back in the day. We don't know what we're walking into here. Let's break out the silence pistol. Pop on in. Pop. Yeah, nothing good. What? Huh? No. no. Peace. <laughs> Still alive, huh? Alright, fine. Not for long. Brace if... Yeah, watch you bleed out. Blast you. And I haven't even moved. God damn it, that guy's crotch got in the way of my shot. Come on, kill him. Hey, you guys are just, like, really lining up for me. Just like, eh, I'll just stand here and let you shoot me. Uh-oh. We got fun time incoming. Glad I moved. Oh, dear. That didn't work out so well. Ow. 
Hey, fuck you, asshole. Try to shoot me with a rocket launcher this close, why don't you? Damn, bitch, you're still alive. Get down. Oh, hi. And everybody dead now? Whenever you're done corpse squatting, I'm good to go. Why does everybody have a fucking rocket launcher today? Is today fucking National Rocket Launcher Day or some bullshit? I am not digging it. Oh, sure, I'll take the Haymarket Mall key. Why not? <clears throat> I don't know what it unlocks, but I'm uh, happy to find out. I've heard somewhere that shotgun shells are bad for your health. Thanks, kid. Ow. Steadfast Mac 11 pistol. Lamb. Sugar bombs. Oh, yeah, buddy. That's the way we came in. I don't know if we checked over here out too much. Oh. What are you guys doing? Fucking jerking off back there? What's in the basement? I love old world widgets. Yeah, no one cares. Worth Deacon. a fair amount too. It was vaguely interesting the first time you said it. Now it's you might you know, want to focus a little passe. You'll break your back carrying worthless scrap. Hey Deacon, guess what? No one asked you. Shut your fucking pie hole, bitch. Alright, so this is where I just was. There's an elevator. Let's see where the stairs up go, eh? Nowhere. So I guess we're taking the elevator. Might be a whole new set of peeps up here, so let's switch back to that. Going up. Reload. Blam. End of the line. Eat this. <laughs> what is going on? Kill. Kill. Mm. We'll be fighting robots. Yeah, let them finish each other off. That's it. I heard something. Back in business. will not be harmed. Oh boy, now. So, new business model. We team up with a mortuary. You see where I'm going with this, right? Yeah, sure. Sounds like fun. You're really thorough. And why do we bother you know teaming up, though? Why don't we just start our own mortuary? I am really thorough, though. Thank you. Ooh, hello, office terminal. What's going on here? Yeah. So what, did these idiots turn their robots on and then didn't know how to fucking program them to not kill them? Good job, losers. Give me your caps and shit, bro. Raiders are too stupid to live. 
Oh, hi there. Make you nervous, but I don't think we're alone. Get out of here. He lived to fight another day and night and yeah, day. Supposedly. Before I was interrupted by that rude machine gun turret, I was looking through here for stuff. Rude. I think this is the casting couch room. Hey, fuck you, man. Erg. Pissing me off. Gotcha. Got it. Fuck you. Can't wait to lob a fucking plasma grenade at somebody. Mm. Delicious iguana on a stick. It's very strange considering I haven't actually seen any iguanas here. But, you know, whatever. Whatever, man. If you want to tell me it's iguana, I guess I'll believe you. Alright, whoever's out here, get themselves a nice plasma grenade. Assuming somebody's out here, of course, but I just kind of assume that they're going to be people, be people everywhere. The idea of a Deathclaw matriarch. No, friends, I don't. Dead bastard. We'll be here all week. Eh. Oh, hello, Raiders. Last you. Got the blood pumping. Sure did. Oh, it's Faneuil Hall down there. Okay. This is a this is a cool little terraced area. Too bad about having the death claw up here and all, but um, yeah. What's in here? Another elevator. Perhaps that elevator would have been a better way to get up here in the first place. Let's see where it goes. Going down. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if I can jump out at all these different floors. Oh. Hmm. It. That is some precision picking there. I love old world. What can I say, Deacon? I'm good. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, so this would not have been a way to get up here. Like Let's see about going up. Bring up. Ha ha. Unfortunately, now how the hell am I going to get out of here? I guess is the question. I guess drop back down. Call the elevator back down. Going down. Yeah, that works. <clears throat> I'm smart. Oh yeah, that floor. Mm -hmm. Going down. Yo, well, let me out, bitch. Alright. This door open? No. Alright, probably maybe wasn't actually worth coming on this floor. But, here's the monorail we need to get on. And luckily that wasn't far enough to kill me. I'd be a little more worried about the next one. that I know won't kill me from here. Yeah, once again, not really much on this level worth taking. Yeah, all right. Oh, uh, wait, yeah, drop down here. And drop down here. Open that guy up. Call it back down one more time. Awful lot of work for some mediocre loot, but, uh, you know, I am nothing if not thorough. Going down. Alright. Now then, this monorail. Let's get inside of it. I once dyed my eyeballs bright blue. That was pretty was stupid, wasn't it? I infection cure with Nuka-Cola Quantum. Everyone thought I was a synth. Myrna tried to shoot me. It was a tough two weeks. Serves you right. Oh, yeah, I've penetrated you, monorail. Thanks for the buff out. I didn't really mean to take the gun, but whatever. Yeah, you know, this is kind of what everyone was everyone was terrified of back when uh, we were riding on these things, is an accident, something like this. Though I suppose when, you know, a nuclear blast is going off, you're less concerned with just a regular old monorail crash. Oh, hi. You didn't need that arm, right? Bye bye now. I guess this is the place to put Mila, eh? There we go. Whenever you're done corpse squatting, I'm good to go. Shut up, Tekin. I love old world widgets. Right, Worth I guess amount that's too. about it. Let's uh, let's head back to uh, HQ, eh? All right, here we are. Deacon's record is the best. Hey, Tinker Tom. Hey. hey, you keep placing Mila's, and I'll keep paying you. Thanks. I'll lead on another vantage spot. If you got the time. I get the time if you, you get, get the money. Check out the latest and greatest. That's good. Hey, wait. Are you sleeping with Glory? Anything new from Mila? Ooh, Pam's like a glowing one in a crater, soaking up all the data from Mila's cameras. 
The atmospheric sensors haven't picked up anything yet, but give it time. I gotta go. We'll we'll right, you are. All right, now. Make sure <coughs> it's all our asses if you are. It's important to know who your real friends are. Just Make sure they have your back and don't get tempted. We're all the sense got. All hands are lost at Augusta's safe house. When it rains, it pours. Augusta's safe house was destroyed by the Institute. It's as I feared. Three safe houses gone. Hard to imagine. I have nothing further for you at the moment. I'm sure someone else could use your help. No shortage of fires to be put out. That's it. Well, yeah. Seems like I'm the only person who can put out fires here. I don't know how you all survived so long without me. Setting human machine interface to 100%. Good day, agent. My data indicates Mercer Safe House has been established. Reward dispensed. Further help is required. I have the location of a Black Ops cache. It contains supplies our organization needs. Railroad Alpha has asked for you to secure the cache from any hostels in its vicinity. Black Ops, huh? Best kind of Ops, if you ask me. A pre-war cache, huh? This will be interesting. Unable to process verbal response. The cache is hidden in compliance with tactical counter surveillance protocols. This RFID device will locate and unlock the cache upon close proximity. RFID, huh? Pretty top of the line stuff for people living in a crypt. Nice. That sounds pretty high tech. Correct. The cache belonged to the Defense Intelligence Agency. The DIA's technological capabilities were more advanced than many branches of the government. You only have to secure the cache. Runners will transport contents on a separate timetable. Terminating human machine interface. Alright, well. <clears throat> Thanks, Pam, I guess. Would it kill them to let me know mission specs before the dead drop? Just once? Alright, let's see here. Can I max out my science? Yes, I can. Let's do that. Stop doing that. Uh, okay, Mila's over by... Var. And the DIA cache is here. What was it? Ruined skyscraper, huh? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, we'll go at it from Faneuil Hall. Welcome to Fanua Hall. Shut up, meat. Um, you know, now that I think about it, I think, um, I think I'm gonna take a short little break. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna come back real soon. I'm just gonna take a little bit of a, you know, maybe a little cat nap or just, you know, rest around the fire a bit. <coughs> If any all seems like a nice place as any to hang out. Certainly a place where lots of people hung out back in the day. Can I up, uplift this bench? No. Well, that's fine. That's fine. There we go. Alright, so yeah, give me a chair here. And one here. And one here. And give me a fire. 
good. That's enough for now. We're not going to sleep or nothing. Maybe, you know, take a little sitting up nap in the chair, but we're just going to hang out for a bit and uh, we'll continue this, uh, you know, very soon. So until next time, guys. Solomon out. What's up, everybody? Great Pirate Solomon here. Just want to thank everybody for watching episode 19 of the Misadventures of Solomon in the Commonwealth Wasteland. If you want to uh, keep seeing my new videos pop up in your feed, go ahead and click on my pirate face over there on the right. Subscribe for more. Find me elsewhere on the interwebs. You can like me on Facebook at Misadventures of Solomon. You can follow me on Twitter at GP Solomon. And if you really like what I'm doing, head over to patreon.com backslash Solomon and throw me a buck or two. If you want to see the last episode in the series, go ahead and click on the little video window there on the left. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.